Welcome to the video startup guide for the Eaton 3S UPS. What we're going to look at today is the Eaton 3S UPS and the 750 VA capacity. This capacity features eco control, which allows master devices to control and turn off peripheral connected devices to reduce phantom power losses. As we unpack the UPS, you'll notice right on top is our quick start guide, along with a USB cable, which we will use to set up eco control later in this guide. When unpacking the UPS, it weighs about 10 pounds, and we're going to want to remove all of the packaging before we get started. So we'll remove the bumpers, and also we'll take off the big wrapping that's surrounding the UPS. Once we've got everything off the UPS, we're going to first see a yellow warning sticker here. That sticker uh, says that the battery connection is required before we use the UPS. So we're going to flip the UPS over. And on the battery compartment, we'll also see another warning sticker telling us to make the battery connection before using this UPS. We'll go ahead and take off the battery connection sticker so that we can pop off the battery compartment cover. And once we have the battery compartment removed, um, we're going to see that the negative terminal of the battery is on the top here, and the cable connecting the negative terminal is disconnected for safety reasons during shipping. So we're simply going to take the negative battery connection and connect it to the negative battery terminal. The positive connection has already been made. So once we've completed that, we'll go ahead and cover um, the battery compartment with the cover and snap that back into place. And now the UPS is ready to use. So we'll flip it over. We're going to remove this warning sticker now that we need the battery connection. And this will expose the three remaining outlets on the 3S UPS. This UPS does have five, a total of 10 outlets, five on each bank. One bank is battery backup and surge protection, and the other five are, are simply surge protection. This is also a great time to remove the protective film covering the glossy cabinet surface. And our 3S UPS is ready to go. Now I want to talk about the master control and the three controlled by master outlets featured here. One, two, three. Um, this is meant for plugging in something like a computer into the master outlet and then plugging peripheral devices, let's say a printer, uh, PC speakers into your uh, connected to master devices and those controlled by master devices when the main when the master device is turned off those devices the power will be cut to those outlets uh, reducing any phantom power losses so once we've made those connections um, we've removed them here to show you where the USB plugs into the unit and then we plug one into the cable and the other end uh, will go into our PC now we'll navigate to eaton.com slash PQ slash software and there we'll find other peer-to-peer -peer software heading, and we're going to look for the Eaton Personal Solution Pack software. Once you've downloaded and installed that software, you can navigate to it under All Programs, Eaton, Personal Solutions Pack, and then select Settings. On the Settings screen, you'll find under UPS Settings, the Eco Control Function Activation. This, by default, is selected is unselected when the UPS is shipped, so you'll need to select that checkbox and hit OK. And once you've selected that, you can look under the detection threshold option for eco control. Now, the default value is medium. Um, and basically, if the peripherals connected to the eco control outlets don't stop when your master device is turned off, you'll be necessary to increase this threshold level to high. If the device is connected to those controlled by master outlets don't function when the master device is functioning properly, then you'll need to set that detection threshold to low. 